When our next guest is an Olympian who just won the silver medal in the men's Super G at the Winter Olympics. And winning is in his blood. He is carrying on an Olympic family legacy, following in his mother's mm -hmm. footsteps. He's here with us now. Everybody, please welcome with the medal around his neck, Ryan Cochran Siegel. Good to have you here. Congrats. Yes. Because this, you are, you are a hero. You're an American hero. Look, we, we were, you're so far removed during the Olympics. We had to watch from afar. So it is an absolute pleasure to have you here with us, man. And what was the experience uh, like for you, man, to have that thing around your neck now? Thank you for having me, first <laughs> off. Um, it's been wild, a crazy week. Definitely could not have imagined all of this happening. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think for me, I'm just a skier. You know, I like to go out there and have fun. Uh, <laughs> to go through this whole experience has been Dream come true, for sure. You're a decorated skier now. Yeah. <laughs> and as we mentioned, you are following in your mother's footsteps. Your win comes 50 years after she won gold. So wow. I'm curious what that phone call was like <laughs> to your mom after you won. It was just um, so many emotions. I think we were just so happy. Um, my sister was also on the call, and we just, you know, shared the moment. I think she talked about how proud she was. And I think also knowing that, you know, I was always capable, just a matter of actually being able to do it is a different story. And um, it's something that I think we get to share, too that like you know with life and and that mother-son bond that we have is and pretty special it's not just your mom both the other olympics in oh, the yeah. family who else yeah, was it? We had yeah several i have others. my cousin jimmy and yeah. then my aunt marilyn uncle bob and then my aunt, aunt lindy as well all so olympians. there's six of us six okay. olympians yeah wow ryan and your story is all the more remarkable because a year ago you had a broken neck mm -hmm. tell us about that journey from that unbelievable injury to now standing on the podium with a silver medal around your neck yeah wow. I will say it was a minor broken neck. Um, it could have been much, much worse. So, I know, I know, but it was um, obviously scary at the time. And I think um, I just went through the rehab process and had a really good surgery with my doctor and just worked every day. Um, and you know, it was, it was a progression going from injury, back on skis, back on snow, all that. And then obviously- And mentally, but, what's that like, you know? It was challenging at first, um, I think. I've been through various injuries before and, and you just have to learn how to overcome it. Um, trust, you know, that you've been a good skier before and that that'll come back. And then I think by the time I was at the Olympics, it was, you know, I wasn't thinking about that. I was just focusing on skiing. And Ryan, do I have a right? You have, do have a scar from that? I do have a scar, yeah. It's a pretty cool one. Wow. Yeah. A cool yeah. one. That's yeah. a minor. <laughs> and it's minor a minor. Broken, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. broken back. Yeah. Ryan, you, you, oh my goodness. There's no such thing as a minor broken neck, is there? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think just spinal cord injuries are scary, and yeah. um, to be able to walk away from it alone is yeah. really special. So I'm just thankful for that. Well, man, congratulate this. Your story is an incredible one, but we've been cheering you all on, and it's good to have you all back here in studio. It's good to see yeah. you. Good to see that medal. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.